Hello and welcome to this video about introduction to slide layouts. As it suggests, we will mostly introduce you to how to use slide layouts at the No More platform in regular tasks. So this video is perfect for starting designers, but also any advanced designers who just want to refresh any knowledge about slide layouts. We will not go too deep about how to build slide layouts, but we will mostly focus on usage of already defined layouts in clients' templates. So let's start with a small chat about PowerPoint template, because PowerPoint layouts are a big and important part of the whole template. PowerPoint templates bring together PowerPoint theme, that is, for example, font and colors, and slide layouts, along with any other customizations. So as you can see, PowerPoint slide layouts are a big part of the template. PowerPoint layouts themselves are pre-designed formats, which determine how information is displayed on slide. To learn more about templates, you can visit our training video, Working with Clients Templates. You can find the link in the description below this video. So now let's deep dive to what is a slide layout. So slide layouts contain formatting, positioning, and placeholder boxes for all the content that appears on a slide. Layout provides you with a basic structure for your content, as you can see on this picture. Now you might wonder what are placeholders. So placeholders are pre-formatted dotted line containers on slide layouts that are waiting for content to come. It might be text, graphics, video, or some other formats. The preset formatting of placeholders makes it easier to format slides consistently. So your layout might have uh, elements such as title placeholder, subtitle placeholder. It can contain any background objects such as client's logo or some picture. You can also change background fill of your layout. Then you can add their body placeholders. Body placeholders can differ. They can be just text placeholders, general content uh, placeholders, as you can see now. So you can choose which uh, content you want to add. It can be also just picture placeholder and so on. Then in your layout, you can already format the placeholder. So for example, you can set the style of your bullet points. You can set the text box margins, line spacing, and so on. Specifically important formatting happens in Slide Master. We will talk about this a little bit later. And then you can add any other headers or footers uh, elements, such as date, footer, slide number, and so on. Since layouts are there for you to easily choose some predefined structure on the slide that you can just fill, you can set multiple layouts into your PowerPoint template, and then you can just use these layouts as you need. So now let's talk about most commonly used layouts. Such a layout is, for example, title page, agenda, Content layout, this is one of the most important ones because content layout is usually the one we work with the most. Then there might exist some variations of content layout, such as two columns, three columns, and so on. Then you might meet with some picture layout. It might be full page, half page, combination of picture and content. Some templates also contain a blank slide. Then there is breaker or divider slide and end page. So these are the most common ones, but some of our clients have more extensive layout options and they, for example, have specific company employee profiles or thank you page or any other layouts based on their needs. Our general recommendation for our clients is to keep layouts simple and as few as possible to keep the file, the template file light, because uh, many layouts also increase the size of the file. And uh, usually the very specific layouts are not necessary because nice slides with different structures can be also built just on top of regular content layout or blank layout. So now you know what the layout is and what are the most common types of layouts, but where to find layouts in normal slide view? Well, you have multiple options. First one is that you are in the top panel where you can choose either layout button that will show you the current layout options and you can switch the layout of your current slide. If you want to add new slide, then you can go through the new slide button, which will add new slide to your file. Through the new slide button, you will still see all the layout options. So you can choose which layout you would like to add as a new slide. Another alternative option is that you can just click on slide in the side view panel and uh, you do the right click and then you will see this bar where you can choose layouts. And again, you will see all the available layouts and you can choose the layout. Now let's discuss how to work with layouts in a normal platform. First key message is that in regular tasks, you should never apply any edits to clients templates. This means you should not change anything in slide master, neither theme or layouts. In regular tasks, you just use given layouts in a normal slide view and you follow clients guidelines. But knowing what is a slide layout and where to find it belongs to basic knowledge all of our designers should know since we are PowerPoint experts. Many starting designers, for example, do not know what it means when instruction says apply client's picture layout. They simply add picture to regular content layout, which is not correct. Occasionally, we do have a template creating tasks on our platform. For these tasks, we require only skilled designers in template creating to apply. If you are not skilled yet, we recommend practicing in your free time 
and apply only after you feel confident you can tackle this kind of task. You can first educate yourself online, you can do your research, there are many materials that will guide you in how to create template. And once you feel like you are expert in this topic, you can uh, apply for this type of task. Designers on template creating tasks get extra material that guides them in how to build template for our clients specifically, and also it explains what layouts to build. There might also be extra information in the task description, so always review the task very properly, and if you have any hesitation, then ask your admin. Sometimes different types of layouts might require different slide frames. Slide frame is usually easy to identify if the template contains guides marking working areas. On our projects, slide frame is usually clearly defined by providing you guidelines containing defined slide frame shape or providing slide frame file in case guidelines are not available. But even though we provide slide frame for regular content layout, we usually do not cover how slide frame for other layouts should look as their usage in client slides is limited. There is no simple logic in how to figure out the slide frame on your own. If you are not sure about slide frame in some layout, confirm with your admin. But now we will look at practical example of picture layout, as this layout is most commonly misunderstood layout regarding the slide frame. So here we can see example of picture layout, that picture on the right side. What some designers do is use all of this space for the content, but this is not correct, as content should only cover this area. So you can see that the placeholder shape basically defined the slide frame for you. Therefore, you should not use any extra space other than defined by the placeholder. Alternatively, if there is no placeholder for the content, you can always judge the slide frame based on the width of the title placeholder. So this is a simple way how you can set your slide frame yourself for such a layout as this one, but uh, it's always better to just clarify with admin. You can just mark your slide frame shape and send the screenshot fastly to admin for confirmation. If you are unsure if what you are doing is correct, then just always confirm with your admin. Now you might meet with some client's templates that have very messy layout view. Let's talk about this and figure out why that might happen. So copying slides from one file to another can create a messy layout situation. Our clients often collaborate on the files and often one file merges slides from different sources. So one person in company gets multiple files from other colleagues and they merge it all together. And as they are merging it, the layout got messy. Sometimes the slides are using client standard template, but some slides are copied from older template versions. And so PowerPoint each time adds this different or outdated layout to the list of layouts. This happens because person who is merging the files chooses to keep the source formatting when pasting the slides instead of using the destination theme that would convert the slides to current template layout. So this way, when different files are merged, all the other template layouts are added to the current ones. Result of that you can see, for example, in the picture on the right side. Now, why I am explaining you this topic is because situations can become a little bit tricky when there are seemingly same, let's say, content layouts used throughout the file, but they are not really the same layout. So for example, in here, we have content layout from template no more 2023, but there is other, very similar or seemingly looking the same layout from template no more 2022. Now we will look at these two layouts at the slide level and we will see if they are different. So this is layout from no more 2023 and you can see how it looks. And the next layout is layout from no more 2022. So it is almost very hard to notice, but when we go from one layout to another, we can see that there are actually differences. So as you can see, the first layout has gray action title and the next layout has red action title. And also the title placeholder is jumping between these two layouts. So if in your file that you are working in, you will be switching between these two layouts, slides will not be consistent. Therefore, it is important to identify the correct layout to use. You might confirm with your admin, and then you should use this layout for all the slides you should work at, so they are consistent. Now we will just shortly talk about how our layouts built. Layouts are built in Slide Master View. You can access the Slide Master View by using of one of the three options. In option one, you just need to go to View tab and then press Slide Master. In option two, you need to find this icon at the bottom of your window, and then you need to press Shift plus click on this icon, and it's a shortcut that will get you to the Slide Master. And as an option number three, some versions of PowerPoint have this uh, tell me what you want to do button, and then you can simply type words Slide Master into this function, and it will find the view for you. Once you are in Slide Master view, you will notice this composition of the layouts. So the master slide, is the top slide in the thumbnail panel on the left side of the window. When you edit the slide master, all slides that are based on that master will contain those changes. So this is a very important slide because you do the settings that influence all other layouts that are belonging to this master. 
However, the majority of changes that you make will most likely be to the layout masters related to this master. The related layout masters appear just below the slide master. When you make changes to layout masters and the slide master in slide master view, other people working in your presentation in normal slide view can't accidentally delete or edit what you've done. So this is the main reason why our clients have templates, because these templates are capturing their brands and their specific settings that they want to have saved, and they do not want anybody to change these settings unless they would wish for it. That is exact reason why in normal tasks, we only work with normal slide view and we do not iterate any of these clients settings. It might have happened to you that you've been working in normal slide view and you found out that you're unable to edit some element on a slide. For example, you've been thinking, why can't I remove this picture? So this might be because the thing you're trying to change is defined on the slide master or a layout masters. To edit that thing, you must switch to slide master view. But as we already said, if it's some element that is part of the template, you should not edit it on regular tasks. So this was really just a very basic information about how layouts are built, because as we said at the start of this video, we do not want to go too deeply into how to create template and so how to build layouts. This is just a basic video for you to know what are layouts, where to find them, how to use them, how to switch between them. And if you want to learn how to build templates, then we just highly recommend you to deep dive on your own to this topic. As I said, there are plenty of uh, videos on YouTube or other materials you can just Google that will teach you how to build template and how to set template correctly. Plus, if you would ever get to such a task on our platform, you will get additional materials from our site that you will have to study. So now let's recap the main takeaway points to remember. So never modify client's templates if it's layout or team in regular tasks. Make sure you understand what layouts are and you know where to find them in a normal slide view. When instruction says use picture, profile, or any other layout, it means you need to find the layout in client's layouts, not just create your own slide structure on top of content layout. Make sure you use correct slide frame in layout you are currently using. Some files might contain multiple template versions or content layouts. To ensure consistency throughout the file, make sure you use the same layout throughout the file. Of course, if some slides should use picture layout, then it does not have to be the same. But if you use content layout throughout your presentation, it should be always the same content layout. If you are unsure, then clarify with your admin. If you want to apply for template creating tasks, make sure your skills in this area are top notch before applying. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the platform.